Hello YouTube, the gun out here. Today I'm going to do a little review of a uh, knife I've been using for everyday carry now for a couple of months. Uh, it's really the first knife that I've been carrying other than say like a Swiss Army knife for everyday carry. I was searched quite a bit to find something that I thought would be reasonably be priced and also good for what I wanted. Something lightweight and something that uh, was good for cutting and in a pinch could also be used for um, uh, self-defense. So this, the knife that I got is uh, from the Ontario Knife Company and it is the Rat 2. Uh, there's also a Rat 1 which is larger but I got the Rat 2. And now I have had this for a couple of months but I did uh, keep the box. This is a Ontario Rat Model 2 folding knife. Get the knife out. Uh, it's in my pocket where it uh, usually stays. Um, here is the Rat 2. Um, go ahead and open it up. It is a liner lock knife. Which, uh, but I'll tell you a little bit about the features of this knife and then what I've found to be pluses and, and minuses about it. Um, one feature is it's very, fits my hand quite nicely. I mean, you don't quite get the pinky on great, but it, you know, even though it's small, the blade length I think is three inches long. The usable part, the sharpened part is two and three quarters. Uh, even though it's, you know, not that big of a knife. It fits the hand pretty good. Uh, it has the jibbing here on the back. Uh, it has double studs so it's ambidextrous. Like I said it is a liner lock. And it has a belt clip. Now this belt clip is a very nice feature because you can um, move the clip. You can see there's three little um, Allen head screws and there's holes here you can move it to and on the other side in here. So that's a great feature if if you like your clip in a certain position. Some knives only give you one option or maybe two. This knife gives you four options. You can kind of see though one of the cons is, well, I mean if you want to keep your things looking nice, well this knife, and I did hear this before I bought it um, from other reviews, is that this paint or coating chips off of the, the clip. But the clip works really well um, other than the fact that the paint comes off. You know, it is a full um, liner, steel liner, and like I said, this does have the thumb studs, ambidextrous. Uh, it wasn't super um, sharp when I got it, but it was sharp enough. I, I'm not the greatest sharpener, so I, I need to work on that a little bit. You can see it does have kind of the Rat Rand, Randall's Adventure Training uh, logo there on the on the blade. Now there's different styles of this as well. I just got the simple black one with the the, the regular steel um, blade, but you can get a coated blade, which I hear that coating also wears off pretty quickly. And you can get different colored handles also. I guess I'll try to cut something on camera here. It cuts fine. And it does what I need it to do. So like I said, I don't really have it set up here to show you the cutting too well. But it does, you know, it's doing a pretty good job on this light box. That, that one in smooth. I mean, it's just a, it's a good cutting knife. 30 bucks approximately from Amazon.com. It weighs, I think, right around 2.8 ounces. So it is a very nice lightweight knife for everyday carry. I mean, it's it fits in the pocket nicely. I have it with me all the time. Never really noticed the weight of it. In jeans, I stick it in like a knife pocket. In my dress pants for work, I just stick it in the regular pants pocket and it doesn't really stick out too much or stand out too much. So I think this is a good basic everyday carry knife. I definitely recommend it. Thumbs up for the uh, Rat 2 from Ontario Knife Company. Thanks, YouTube.